Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. And we are here and we have just finished the final trial, the fourth trial. And we have learned quite a bit. Is this a statue of him? It's hard to tell, but I think each one of these statues are meant to be the keepers. But maybe they're all the same statue and I just can't quite tell. But it looks like this guy's wearing that special kind of Indian hat or whatever that they wear. In any case, thanks for joining me. In the last episode, we found out some very interesting stuff. We saw the last uh, pensive memory, and oh boy, was it a doozy. Uh, you'll have to check out the last episode and see that uh, and how all of that concluded. And now, after witnessing that and that uncovery, we're going to head into here, which I believe is probably going to be the map chamber. Yeah, and see what they all have to say. Here we are. Oh boy, we have some some conversations to cover, don't we? I'm curious to know what happens now that all the trials are done also. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see... We could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised, as I am sure he will tell you. This wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. Okay. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. True. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't blame you for doing that. But, um, yeah, now that the actual school itself is being threatened, it does make sense. So, no one's going to comment on that guy using a forbidden curse? Uh, maybe they weren't forbidden at that time, and he had to do it. Consult with Rebold Ollivander. Right. Um. We'll probably get a few more quests pop up now that we've done all that. There still needs to be a conclusion to not only Sebastian's storyline, but Poppy's as well. And uh, Natty, too. I don't think we've wrapped things up with her quite yet. Now that the fourth trial is done, maybe we shall. Let's see. What do we want to do, though, first? Um, in the Shadow of Fate, meet Sebastian in the Undercroft. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Let's go do that. All right. We're already here in the school. Let's see. What the hell is the Undercroft? Uh, not one of the secret rooms. I don't normally travel there using this way. 
I know the secret location to get there, but I didn't want to have to... Maybe there's not a... I'll tell you what, we'll just, we'll just go there on foot. We'll have to use the secret location. I don't think it's too far, though. I think it's in the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. So we'll go there. Check it out. I think um, now may be a good time to change up our wardrobe. Like to do this every few episodes or so. Switch things up on how we're looking. So how should we change things up indeed? Uh, have we gotten anything new? We've been trying this owl mask. Believe it or not, I actually kind of like this outfit that I've got on right now. I mean, it's it's kind of cheesy to be sure, but it matches a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, it all looks kind of kind of cool. I've been thinking about going back to the pumpkin head because right now, as I'm playing this, it's Halloween. Well, it's not Halloween; it, it's October, and it's kind of you know in the season. And plus, I, honestly, the pumpkin head is like one of my favorite ones. I mean, come on, that's just so awesome. And if we're going to do a very serious quest with Sebastian, I feel like we should be wearing the pumpkin head. But we need a, out, a matching outfit. So what kind of outfit do we want to wear? Um, that's not bad. I think this one that I was wearing is made out of, like, dragon scales or something. Hmm... That one might fit the best, to be honest with you. Not bad, but I want a long coat. We definitely need to change up this underneath. I'm not sure with what, though. I mean, really, uh, kind of the fall colors, it all matches pretty well. I can't remember what I had underneath it before. That's not bad. Mm. Maybe the dark art stuff actually underneath matches pretty well. And then gloves. Do we want a scarf? I think a scarf does fit this pretty, pretty good. Depending on which one. I think we used a scarf last time, yeah. I think that matches very well. No, we'll go back to uh, this one. This is a good one. Yeah. And then we'll go switch up the gloves. Something brownish, maybe? No. That's not bad. Kind of... Really... I don't know. Oh, that looks like it would work pretty well. That looks a little bit more suited to it. We'll switch up the wand while we're here. Why don't we go with... Sure. All right, I think we're all set. Yeah. Pumpkin's my favorite one. We have a new quest? Oh yeah, okay. All right, let's keep going. Let's do it. Oh yeah, it is October. And man, oh man. I'm so excited for the weather to start getting cooler. It's been so freaking brutal. Uh, oh, hello. Did I... No. Okay. Can I not... Really? I can't go through there? What is that over there? It looks like there's all kinds of stuff. Can I just... Bust this open? Well, what the... Rebellion. the heck can I get in there? Oh, there's a frog over there. Maybe I can use, like, some kind of teleportation frog. Oh, probably in there. Let's do this real quick. Hello, Hamora. All right. That one's done. And Revenge. do it, yoink. And here we are, just as I suspected. 
All right, let's lift up this one. How many is that now? You gonna tell me? No. Where does this one lead? Revelio. Check this out. That's a cool statue. Looks like there might be... Really? There's no paper that describes the statue? That's a cool statue, man. Let's see where this frog leads. We're just hopping all over the place, aren't we? Interesting. Ah, I hear a jingle dingle. Is this really a dead end? Thing. So this is the one we came through. Rebellion. Guess we'll go through here. Can't hear it anymore. It's very far away. Very far away. Whatever, wherever it is. And... Rebellio. Last but not least. Well, that was fun. I'm not sure where that other one would be. I'm kind of turned around, actually. How the heck do I get back up? Ooh, bless me. Looks like there's another lock here. Well, heck. Alohomora. Ta-da. Revelio. Oh, hello. Alchemy class, an arcane subject offered to older students on the rare occasion when demand suffices. Alchemy focuses on the four natural elements and the science of transmutation. So this is a freaking classroom, man. That's cool. Basket Weave Red Wand. Oh, we've got to use that one. That goes very well with our outfit, doesn't it? Yeah, check this out. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. It's too bad each one of those wands don't have some kind of unique uh, little added bonus that switches up gameplay a little bit. You know, so Hello. that there was actually... A little bit more than cosmetics involved, and a little bit more to the strategy when it comes to using different wand handles. But that's okay. I mean, there's a butt ton of them. Revelio. There we go. Here we are. Probably the one I've been hearing. Important Muggle Artifact. Uh, this misunderstood artifact is supposedly important to Muggle warfare, though most of wizard kind find the prospect of wielding such a hefty weapon utterly head-scratching. It's called a cannon. Kind of serves to be pretty useless if you can just cast uh, spells and, you know, equal to cannonballs, like Bombarda, you know, through a wand. Rebellion. Ooh, check it out, a demo, guys! The demigods. I think I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the moon calves made. Okay. Um, I need to wait till nighttime so I can grab this demigods while I'm here. Let's see. Wait. Mine now, demigods. Mine now, demigods. How many is that? I think I needed to find 13 to find the final level of this spell. It's not going to tell me on here. I need to look here. 
So it looks like I can put my graph horn in the pin. I've got nine. I only need to get four more, I think. I could go ahead and take those to the dude. Okay. Well, 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 it looks like there's another quest. A side quest. Somebody needs help with something. Let's go ahead and see. Well, where the heck are they? Oh, are they, like, up there somewhere? Okay. Uh... It's telling me to go this way. What's the direction for where this quest giver is? See what they want. Didn't it show up? On the map? Oh, okay, we, we actually have a few. What do we got? History of Magic Class. I need to attend History of Magic Class. Taught by Professor Benz. Summoner's Court, match four. So if I go ahead and select these now, they should show up in my quest target. Got going on. We have a quest giver out here. No, that's the same one. Interesting. So, wow, yeah, okay. So we got these two, so we have a new class to attend. That's a little unexpected. We're gonna do these two first, though. We're gonna first go and meet Sebastian in the Undercraft. We got all this stuff popping up. We're gonna have to do it before we continue on with the story, because... Well, let's face it, it kind of seems like the story, you know, it, it's reaching its twilight hours. Oh, but there's someone right here. Oh, this is the classroom to attend. Oh, it's right here. I could just wait and then attend class. Well, all right. All right. We're here. We might as well do it. Check this place out. This might be very interesting. Let's wait and attend the history of magic class. Beginner's luck, I Oh, God. Say. You'll not beat me next time. Uh, oh, are you that... Oh, God. Please don't speak it's to me. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. <laughs> Look at me sitting there. <laughs> In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling oh, industry. I fell asleep. <laughs> Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmos the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And okay. Now for a stroll to the bell tower. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Is that Poppy? It is. We got Poppy here. We got Ominous. We got that one guy who I helped do something with, but I don't remember his name. Oh, good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh... That wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly, 
Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Oh god, kill me now. Um... The name seems a little familiar. I probably read uh, one of those journal entries about him. Did you say Bragbor? I... I think I know that name. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Oh, of course. Odgok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Oh, yeah. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Uh, this is why I never got into history. Curious students can find him on display here in Look, the bell tower and like passed out. What I wouldn't give to be back on a broom right now. Wagadu's history is, well, a bit different than that of Hogwarts, to say the least. Such as sewing buttons on witches and wizards' coats. Without his quick hand and deft needlework, Rebellion. witches and wizards have caught Ah. Grimbald Weft. This is the skull of famed tailor Grimbald Weft, whose skilled needlework repaired countless witches and wizards' coats during the Goblin Rebellion of 1752, thus preventing them from taking ill during battle. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbald Weft. I did. Um, it was just an old skull. Why didn't you tell us it was just his skull? Well, of course he's just a skull. Everyone knows Grimbold's weft died of Dragonpox in 1753. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Affbuttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Revelio. Keen eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Athur of the cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. Sir Afshuddle, this is a centuries old likeness of Pandadon. His fame was not one. Uh, let me do this real quick. Good for you. Uh, Rebellion. It's somewhere here. Sir Ashpuff or Offpuff? Celebrated by old friends and newcomers alike. I encourage everyone to make the waving statues acquaintance. It sounds like it's getting quieter. It's getting louder this way. But if I go too far... Oh god, yep, see? So that's not the way. It must be maybe this way then? Hogwarts is impervious to the inexorable march of time. This dumbass. Oh, okay, not that way either then. So what's in this room? Dusty, immutable history. It's a lot louder. Well, okay. It wasn't that loud when I was up here earlier. Waving Knight. This set of armor belonged to Sir Uff, Off Puddle of the Cheerful Countenance, a legendary friendly knight who supposedly won every battle before it was fought by virtue of his amiable negotiating tactics. Some attribute his success to an overly potent cheering charm he casts upon himself. Abandoning class to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor Benz's manner of teaching. As one would 
expect? These bits of broom are all that's left of a witch called Celine Wartnobby. Oh, Rumor wow. has it, she was demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm. She was never seen again. Perhaps she succeeded. I suppose we'll never know. Leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in the world seem dull. Sir Scagglethorpe the Heedless once challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Care to guess who won? If you fail history of magic, you're doomed to repeat it. The, the class, that is. I know how that feels. The Hogwarts founders could never have achieved such architectural majesty without the aid of powerful magic. You got anything to say? What about Hogwarts you? Hogwarts is impervious to the inexorable march of time. Perhaps that is why I admire it so. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Yeah, they hate our guts. Um, that's okay, the feeling's mutual. That's a shame. I'm not surprised. Goblins and wizard kind will never trust each other. Yes, well, it takes a cauldron to raise a chispurfel, as they say. Mm, what does that mean? History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns. Who is this thoughts, ghost up there? Both comforting and disconcerting. It's like some fat chick who's the just wise hovering over. Students such as yourself will learn from it. Look, she's probably going to come back any second now and wave. Oh, is that it? Oh. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Well, that At was least, fun. I like to say that. Revelio. And by fun, I mean, I would rather watch paint dry. Look, there's this fat chick just hovering over and then waving. Who is that? Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't mind if I do. Um, okay, well, that was all right. Interesting. Now we can get back to more, you know, things that are actually a hundred times more interesting uh in the shadow yes meet sebastian in the undercroft that's where we're going apparently it is this way we have attained or poppy at least we're out of the classroom uh we have attended history of magic Always fun mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. check out a new class. Mm -hmm. I just love how things are always changing and going on here at Hogwarts. No? Man. I haven't slept well for I Look! Never have them. Everyone's wearing Quidditch gear. Well, not everyone, but a lot of students. I thought Quidditch was cancelled. But these guys are definitely wearing Quidditch equipment. Has something changed? Something I don't know about. Open. There's that snowman. <laughs> Never gets old, man. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Shouldn't we have some kind of school break? You know, like winter vacation or something? Here's the secret entrance. Do it. Here we are. 
Alright, so at least you two are talking. Does Ominous know what happened? I'm sure he'll probably find out. This is going to be interesting. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Okay. Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, and I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, I you know. Uh, I, I got your back, man. I, I, very well. I'll talk with him. I'll see what I can do. Hopefully, you know, you can calm her down and keep her from turning you in. Because if you get turned in, I think I might get caught too. But in any case. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. That's right. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Yeah, me too, man. You oh, see? Sebastian. Make a friend of me... And it is extremely advantageous. I can be very helpful. Make an enemy of me. And you shall die. Ominous. So listen. So far, you've kind of done a little bit to get back on my good side. You know, you haven't done much. You've kind of been whiny and complainy a lot. But right now, we're okay. So, you know, what, what do you have to say? Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. How'd that go? Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Okay, so in other words, Professor Black doesn't know. Nobody knows right now, except for me, you, Sebastian, and Anne. That's a good thing. Uh, we should turn Sebastian in. We must not turn... Se yeah, no, dude, listen. We do have a choice. And if we turn Sebastian in, even if you feel it's the right thing to do... For one, I may get in trouble too, okay? And... For two, since Anne has destroyed the book and everything, it's not like Sebastian can really continue with this research anyway. So, why don't we just not turn him in and just call it a day? We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? Exactly. He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her, too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. We are. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Good man, Ominous. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Good man. I knew you had it in you. You see, you've done another thing to uh, win my favor. When I become Dark Lord, I may keep you alive. Uh, let's see. What's next on the... Is that quest completed? I guess it is. And this is only level 24. Come on now. Uh, I suppose the next thing we'll do is just this one right here. Meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest and continue on with the Centaur thing. Uh, don't have enough of those. Summoner's Court is interesting. 
a uh, new opponent out there. We're exactly in the Forbidden Forest. It's not that far. We could go outside and do the other thing of that competition thing of a jiggy and then just take our broom to where she's at. Let's just do that. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that thing is just going to be right outside. I don't think it's too far from here. What the hell? Oh, uh, hey Sebastian. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of weird. Don't worry, Sebastian. We got your back. Everything's gonna work out. Sure, you just murdered someone in cold blood, but it's fine. It's fine. Which way do I go? This way, right? Okay. D. Suppose if any other side quests pop up, we can look into them. Hello, what is that up there? Well, well, well. Yoink. Said yoink. I love that Harry Potter theme. Man, I just, just the theme, man. I just love it so much. And it has the kind of Hogwarts Christmas music playing in the background. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look, there's that fat chick. She's going to wave. There it is again. <laughs> Who in the world? All right. All right. We're outside now, and I think right over here is where we need to do that quest, right? Is this my next... Revelio. Did I hear something? Maybe not. Are you my next opponent? It looks like you are. Let's do it. You're going down, Charlotte Morrison. Hello. Are you here for someone as caught? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose... I mean, play a match? Yeah. Of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. Oh my god. What is that stuff? So it looks like that stuff kind of moves the balls closer to it. Oh, son of a bitch. Precisely as planned. Well, I don't like her at all. What's wrong with my... Okay, here we go. Well, I don't like this. Oh, shit. Shoot. No, okay. Well, it's not as nice bad. Technique. But it's not gonna cut it. I need a better one than that. Okay, she kind of screwed that up too. Let's, let's do this a little bit better. Alright, we got this. Oh my god! Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Son of a... The only thing I can hope to do is sabotage her. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, this might not work, but we're going to have to try it. Such grace. <laughs> Finesse. Didn't I say I adore competition? Oh, you are gonna die. You are gonna die. When I become Dark Lord, you have moved to the top of the list. Hard luck. Care for another round? Yeah, I would. Absolutely. 
Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. Hurry up. Excuse me. Precisely as planned. All right, we got this. Akio. Well, at least I knocked hers off. So we're tied again. Uh, all right. Precisely as planned. Uh, let's go with this one. Yes. Stuck on those eggs. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. No, you won't. Okay, this is going to actually be really tricky. Precisely as planned. If I can just get it down here. Okay. I just don't want it to hit that one on the right. Akio. Ha! Ah! Hmm. Nice technique. Wow, you are good. Yes! Yes! That's right. Suck on those eggs. Suck on those <laughs> eggs. I'm not too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I was born perfect. Uh, I play by intuition. I play by intuition. Natural skill and all that. <laughs> That's been my strategy. I suppose it only gets you so far, though. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. No, I don't care. You have failed miserably. I just let you win then that first match. I just, you know, didn't want to crush you too too hard. That's all. All right. I think I th have thought of a name. You're currently not tracking any quests. I think I've thought of a name for my graph horn. Uh, in the stars. There we go. I think I can't summon him here, can I? I can. I think I'm gonna call him for jaunt, I'd say. Big Beefy. Big Beefy. That's a good name. Out of the way, loser. All these students are like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so we got Black Chicken and Big Beefy. I think those are pretty solid names. Oh, there's a moon dial over here. That's the last one, isn't it? Faster. Well, let's go up there and check it out. We'll have to wait until Don't nightfall. Need to race though, my friend. But I mean, I think we'd have to do that for Poppy's quest anyway. Astronomy table should prove useful once the sun's down. The I believe this is the last one. I can't believe it's right here next to the school. Wait. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied here. All right, let's see what we got going. What could it be? Maybe a dragon or something. It's long, like a snake. Maybe a basilisk. Well, this one's gonna be easy. Kind of, sort of. A scorpius. A scorpion. Interesting. Five of five, man. Challenge complete. So that's that then, huh? Nice. Um. All right. How about some sightseeing? Do it. Slow down now. Oh. There we go. The wall. What say we pick up the pace a bit? And we need to meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest. Probably would have been faster if we just, you know, fast travel and all that. But I'm having too much fun with this damn thing. A 
apparently something saw us. Look at this big ass, you know, piece of meat that I'm just riding through here. I mean, holy crap. We're getting close. Hey, centaurs. Don't, seem to don't mind us. Alright. Oh, I think I just murdered a deer to death by trampling it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Look how badass it is to ride up on this thing. Are you impressed, Poppy? And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. That was really deep. You got anything else for us? It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. Alright, what precisely did you see in the stars? You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the Snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events. The cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. Okay, are you sure you weren't just like drinking a buttload of moonshine or something and just, you know? Uh, how do you know the symbol is where the Snidgets are? What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. Yeah, okay. That's all great and everything. Let's find the Snidgets. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. Are we going to ride on your back? We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Can we ride on your back? I mean, it'd be kind of gay, but I think it'd be fun. It'd be a cool cutscene. Poppy? What do you think? Oh, she gave me that look like. Dude, seriously, now's not the time. <laughs> uh, well, where are we going? Let's see. Uh... I do have the... Uh, okay. Well, um. Oh, okay, here we go. Took it long enough. 
quest updated. I'm not currently tracking any quest. Okay. A bird in the hand. Meet Poppy southwest of Brock Burrow. Oh, jeez. Well, it's not that far from Hogwarts, actually. Okay. There's Brock Burrow. We have been there before. I guess we could just fast travel there. It'd be faster. Okay. Now we are here. Who lives here? Probably someone, if that narrows it down. Revelio. Apparently there's a chest over here that we haven't opened. Maybe because the lock is like a level three. Doink. What is this? Welcome, welcome. Uh, do have a look around. Eddie, the Goblin Rebellion's attack on Feldcroft are becoming more frequent. They seem to be... I think I've read this. I, that had to do with a quest where I had to help out and uh, deliver the... What are they called? Like the chomping cabbages or whatever? Okay. Let's see what we can nab in here. How have I never opened this area before? Unidentified neck item. My dearest Eddie, I was so pleased to receive your letter. It has been too long since I've been home. You may be interested to know that my time with the ministry will soon be coming to an end. It seems they forced me into an early retirement, and there's not much I can do to change your mind. No matter, and all my years as an aura, I've seen over and over again how those at the top are more interested in preserving their place than in actually serving those about them. No joke about that. Politics 101 right there. Um, but that's enough of that. There will be time enough to tell you the tales of my life out here in the great big world when we meet again. You'll be happy to know that I'm coming home soon, although I'm thinking of settling in Upper Hogsfield upon my return still nearby. I intend to enjoy the time I have left. There are still mysteries to solve, after all. Ever your sister, Helen Thistlewood, London. Revelio. Yep, she's right about that. People in power, and at the very top. What the hell did I just eat? One of those special candies from that candy shop in Hogsmeade. But yeah, they just... They're not interested, even if they are interested in helping people, they're far more interested in preserving their own interests than anything else. Not without exception, I suppose, but probably the overwhelming majority at the time. Rebellion. Apparently there's a chest up there. Corkscrew, tell blue. Alright, uh... He's over here. Something just saw me. Oh, hey. Sorry, but you're kind of in my way more so. So, if you don't mind. Okay. How remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course, Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Uh. Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is so. a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. So this is the place we came across before. We were doing a side quest and helping out a woman kill a troll over there that she was trying to tame. And we came over here and revealed to... Uh, hi. Uh, and killed some... Uh, revealed some ancient magic stuff and killed some spiders. 
But we didn't know how to do anything with this right here. But it looks like now we can do something with all this. So for the time being, I think I'm going to call the episode there. About that time. When we come back, we're going to speak to Durin and figure out whatever we do with this. And find these snidgets. If you like the video, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, always helps out a lot. And of course, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great freaking day.